as is necessary until these boxes become more expensive than they should be, I need to do another box of Modern Horizons 2. So we got another draft box, because still not sure, even to this point, two and a half years, two and a half years, two and a half years later, uh, that there is a better deal to be found on the Magic the Gathering uh, box opening market. And as things that, yes, in fact, I do want more copies of. Uh, by the way, I'm not worried about this. It, it came from an, an LGS that I know very well, so <clears throat> I'm not worried that their box was, their glue came a little blah, blah, blah. It's fine. <clears throat> I know I know where the box came from. So. All right, so box number one. I'm sure this is from the last print run that they did. So let's see how we do. We know what we're after. We know the deal. Karmic Guide, Search the Premises. First pack is Womp Womp, but we're going to have a bunch of those. Let's rip a whole bunch of packs. See how we do. Dragon Rage Channeler. Bone Shredder. Damn! Alright, so we got Damn. Solid rare. Start us off. <clears throat> Moderation. And of course, foil rares in this particular are generally one to two per box. And it did, the collector boxes didn't have traditional foil pack rare type things. So they're actually kind of special. Titania for our first mythic. Kind of a want want mythic, but you can't win them all. Chatter Storm, Dermotaxi. Okay. Can't win them all. And you know what? Oh, no. See, now that I said it, I got to say it. I'd rather have Titania over Garth One Eye. But now that I said it, I'm going to get Garth One Eye, aren't I? Green Ranger and Rashad in Dock Hand. Okay. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. Going a little faster in this video. And Diamond Lion. A little bit of a, a little bit of a weak start. If that happens. Scalding Tarn! Just to just to show up to be like. We got you, bro. <clears throat> Hero Amoeba, which of course, if you know, that was a good one. Wonder, Territorial Kabu. Okay. Hero Amoeba's just got to fly. Nykdos Paragon. Um, Tireless Provisioner is now worth money again in the Uncommon slot. That recovered pretty well. Goblin Bombardment and Sarah's Emissary for our second Mythic. Really strong card, not necessarily a hit. But if you ever play against Sarah Emissary, you grow to hate that card and then you want to add it to your deck. I guess that's how that works, huh? Magus of the Bridge. Ugh. All right. Last pack of the first row. Harmonic Prodigy and a, uh, that's that's kind of Womp Womp. That is a old border foil we shot in Dockhand. Um, we do tend to get one old bordered foil per box and a couple old bordered rares. We got Diamond Lion. So it means not many more shots to get an old bordered. Shock, uh, sorry, uh, uh, <laughs> I can tell a bit more when I'm grabbing like a remastered. Um, <clears throat> fetch lands, but that's okay. Sterling Gr Misty freaking Rainforest, baby. There we go. Turok for our third mythic. Your Amoeba? Well, that one went down the hallway. <laughs> There's a saga. Uh, now I think the second most expensive card in the set behind Ragavan again. Because that's been going up. Not not because everything else went down. Fury went down a lot. <clears throat> but that went up. 
it's pushing 40 now. Well, old bordered Euro Amoeba. <laughs> Gonna have to pick all these up. Suspend. Okay. Thankfully, we still have the foil rare upcoming at some point. And there's some potentially really good hits there. Chance Encounter and Nykdos Paragon in Sketch. Right, I think after this pack, we're halfway through the box. Nope. Uh, yes, yes. After this pack, we are halfway through the box. Making good time. Trying to, trying to do a faster one. Mistress Factory, Zabaz, the Glimmer Wasp. I'm not necessarily trying to do a fast one for any particular reason, other than it's been a long time since I've done a fast draft box. Patriarch's bidding, which is now not a bad pull. I think it's actually up over. Don't quote me on that. I think it's a back up over two bucks now, which was at the time a, a really nice reprint to this. And the card, that card went from being what twenty five, thirty dollars down to under a dollar. And our foil rare. Hopefully we get a second one. Unfortunately, it is General Ferris Rockerick. We proceed forward. Dolphy Voidwalker. Good rare. I still think that card's a bit undervalued currently. It may or may not be, but I think it is. I feel like it is. By the way, if we go back in time, you remember how crazy everybody was for uh, Ignoble Hierarch? Solitary Confine. Solitude! Awesome! Hey, alright, we finally hit on a mythic. <clears throat> you can get one of them for like two bucks now. Interesting how that happens. Nettle Cyst. I don't know if that ever recovered, actually. Okay, last pack in the middle. The middle has gone very well overall. Keeping in mind that this is not an expensive draft box because there are people who are trying to get rid of extra stock. Take the fire in Vec. This was sub $200 after tax. So. The bar is kind of low to hitting the box price. Cursed Totem, which is now a hit. <laughs> funny how funny how life works. That was another reprint that was kind of like, that's kind of a neat reprint. And it was like 50 cents. It didn't have the same cachet as the Patriarch's bidding. But. And now, because it's seen sideboard play in uh, modern, I think. <clears throat> Counterspell. Priest of the Fel... Priest of Felrets. Not of the... By the way, because we got Scalding Tarn and then Misty Rainforest, just so you're aware, our odds of getting another uh, fetch lane is actually pretty low. Just so you know. So I'm hoping we find the other good rares and mythics that you can find. Thought Monitor, which thanks to Commander Deck reprints, that card is cheap. I, I, I don't want to call it bulk, but it's really cheap. Chainer, and speaking of, we got the Ignoble Hierarch. Now you can get uh, Noble Hierarch, though, for super cheap, and that hasn't even been reprinted in, since summer of 2020. It's funny how that works. Cards just become less played. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> so we should have at least two more Mythics coming. I'm hoping to find an Esper Sentinel. Otherwise known as the Ristic Buddy. In Out of Time. Now we got something neat coming up. We got Braids, Thought Monitor, and a Foil Chatterfang, which is a mythic that has been rising in price. That is a pack foil chatter fan, which is actually pretty darn sweet, considering you couldn't get those in collector boxes. Now that doesn't count as a normal mythic, because in, in, that's out of a different pool. Um, so right now we're only at four mythics. That's usually you get six in a box. We're pretty low on those. Dress down. Yeah, you can go all the way at the end. 
No, we have four packs left. Shardless Agents in the reprint slot. Academy Manufacturer. Glad to take another one of those. That card will just become more and more played. That card's only going to grow, not shrink. <laughs> it was it was inevitable. <laughs> it was just going to happen. <clears throat> See, I thought it. In the second that I thought it, I was like, well, that's that. You're, you're getting one now. Karth the Lion. All right, so we're down to the last pack. Can our last pack contain... Uh, okay, before I get to that, between Solitude, Foil Chatterfang, the two best fetch lands you can get, Urza's Saga, Academy Manufacturer, a couple other decent things. This is not a bad box. It's not a home run box, but it's not a bad box. So, even if this pack contains nothing, there was still some good playables that came out of this. Just not a ton of them. But some of the higher level ones, which... I guess it, you know, it wasn't a deep box. Okay, I'm gonna go slow roll. Seal cleansing in the reprint slot. All right, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Nope, Obsidian Sharma, and that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching again. This isn't, this wasn't a great good box, but it also wasn't a terrible box. You can't win them all. At least I got some of the things that I really love to see, specifically these two, uh, Shocklands and Urza Saga, and frankly, Academy Manufacturer, happy to pull another one of those. So, with all of that said, this is an okay box. Not a great box, not a terrible box. But that does go back to Modern Horizons uh, 2 in that it's hard to truly go to Pound Town. Pound Town is, I would almost refer to that as if you can't even reach the halfway point of the box price. It's actually hard to do that, it's possible, but it's rare. But it's also, you know, it's in that nice sweet spot right now that your normal box is going to be 80% of box price. And that's usually where a box has equilibrium uh, between card prices, box prices, stock on the market, blah, blah, blah. So Modern Horizons 2 is there right now. All right, I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.